What does he actually have to say for us, to us here? Speak your mind. Guard your mind, Nazotsin for this. It is getting late. Guard your mind. Nazoth's influence is insidious in its subtlety. Never let Nizot. your guard down. Are you curious how I came to be here in the Chamber of the Heart? Of course I arrived of my own volition. There was quite a search for me for a time. Caligos remembers how it went. Speak to him if you wish to relive the details on how I thwarted, thwarted discovery by both Speaker and Old God. Speak to Caligos in the Chamber of the Heart. Learn from Champion, we've got a problem. Ebenhorn, he... Old guy contamination detected. Initiating sanitization protocol. No! Don't sanitize! Champion, you've got to get back to the chamber right now! So you're probably going... Wait, what? I'm in the chamber. Um, also, there you'll soon see that they'll be acting like Rathian's not standing right there. So there was a little bug uh, that they had to adjust for at the time. How it should be is, at some point you find out Abyssian is in trouble. Um, corruption is affecting him. Rathian's not here. Pretend he's not here. Pretend you don't see him. There. He's, he's not here anymore. Um, <laughs> and then Caligos basically fills you in on everything that happened. So it's a little weird and clunky. Um, but it is what it is. So, Caligos fills me in. This world is full of wonder. Was now he wants to talk to me. Whispers of Nazoth. I knew that Nazoth was powerful, powerful, but to reach Ebonhorn in the safety of the chamber... We have to do something about this. None of us are safe. Why are there two? Why? Why are there two of you, Galicus? Oh my God! Why are you so bugged? Great, right, complete quest. Together we will defend our world. Spies to the left and right. That should already be like left and right. Hmm. Ebonhorn cannot resist the whispers for long. The dark forces that once corrupted the Black Dragon Flight seek to overwhelm the world once again. We need a way to fight back. While I am loath to mention him, Ooh. I think that's not the right. Why I'm loath to, but anyway, well, I'm loath to mention him. I do know of someone who has been studying the old gods in order to better combat their insidious power. Rathian. The Black Prince has associates in Pandaria, in the Taverns of the Mist, at the Velt Stamp. I suggest you begin your search there. Seek out Rathian at the Tavern in the Mist. So we're going to be visiting places we've already been to. Because we need to find Rathian. Fly, hurry, champion. Find Rathian. He may be Ebonhorn's only hope. Okay, now they're clear. Rathian's still here. All right, we're going to we're going to Pandaria. All right. And just let's look. You know, this chest is broken right now. Um, what do you need? And here, if you've done the cloak quest in Pandaria, the cloaks are available. All of them. And you can even buy some of his essence. Whatever that is. <laughs> so you could put his essence in your clock. But yeah, so Matoria has completed it, so she has all of that. She has access Goodbye. to all the clothes. 8,000 gold was a lot at that time. Uh, there's Tom, the fixer. He now follows Rathian around. Um, even after Rathian yelled at him. So if you go upstairs, there, there's no... 
What is interesting is the board game is still here. That they were playing, but I guess that wouldn't have to change in a couple of years, right? A um, few years. So here we have right and left. The prince is my priority. We were told to stay here and wait for further orders. And so we waited. When do we get our chance for some action? Spies to left and right. Evan Horde is in trouble. Where is Rathian? Consoled us to expect you. He said his brother would need his help eventually. We're supposed to deliver a message to you. But not while we're being watched. Get rid of our uninvited guests, then we can talk. You know as much as we do, he hasn't made contact with us since handing us those journal pages. Journal pages. <laughs> Fine. I know the journal pages. Troy doesn't have the journal pages. This better be important. Okay, so who am I getting rid of? Oh, you cross the eyeballs. The prince, you cross me. Mama never crossed him, don't worry. Yep. So now we gotta kill the eyeballs. Seems good being a shaman comes in handy. I'm being whispered to. The lurking observer was saying, I see. Apologies for hearing any sort of weird noise. My cat's been in the letterbox scratching around for a bit. All right. Forever. That must be her. She's she's the one that likes to scratch her own like for ten minutes. Alright. I'm not gonna get to litter box talk. What is it? You said you had a message for me? On your way then. Yeah, the prince wanted you to have these for your eyes only. Wrong journal. Here we go. Turn journal page seven. I turn that page from the journal. I now know that you don't lose these, but page number seven. You will not find pages. There will always be pages missing from this journal, but they're interesting reads anyway. As I suspected, little of the Shendralar, that's, um, those are the night elves and, um, Diamond, also known as Eldrithalas. Uh, there are members there. There are Shendralar in um, Belamath now. As I suspected, a little of what the Shendralar collected in their archives survived the flight from Eldrithalas. Still, there were some knowledge to be gleaned from the tomes they were forced to have to leave behind as they escaped the Horde aggression. Speaking of the old original horde. Um, references to the old gods are vague and oblique, existing only as archaeological footnotes from a time before the Sundering. The Shendralar, the Shendra, Shendralar, add up in the arcane arts as they were, could not completely unravel the intricacies of the Black Empire's dark magic. Yet a few of them did dabble in the void, and the lessons they learned grant me hope that Nazoth's own power can be wielded against him. Even as, even in its abandoned state, the library's meticulous organization truly impressed me. If only more for, if only more of it had remained intact. Such an extensive loss of wisdom is lamentable. The Chandralar toiled ce ceaselessly to collect the lib librums, librums that line their bookshelves only for the lion's share of it to be consumed by the flames of war. But says it's the nature of warfare, is it not? Seldom does it accomplish the, un the intentions of the architect of its architects. God, I can't read. 
and never without leaving immeasurable devastation in its wake, especially when the Horde and the Alliance are the forces in conflict. Now, keep in mind, even though we're standing here in Taverns in the Mist, we are currently in BFA content, so we're long past the events of Pandaria. I know what this diary says. I know what this journal says. Um, I just want to point that out because we were literally in Fangs of the Father, which is pre-Pandaria. I don't know if any confusion of where we're at with this. Um, and the fact that he was pitting the Horde and the Alliance against each other during Pandaria in hopes that one would win in his extremely, extremely bad plan. <laughs> Can one ultimately say that victory is worth the price that must be paid to achieve it? Perhaps it is in some cases, but the verdict is not as easily reached as I once thought. That That's what my point was. <laughs> so it's no coincidence that this particular journal page is found in this location. If anyone needed a reminder. Um, provided, of course, you did miss a vendor. Mm. I'm a fighter, not a talker. Spies the left. I'll be here. The Black Prince isn't here, but we might be able to help you find him. On your way, then. Good work getting rid of those spies. Things have been quiet here for a long time, and now suddenly all eyes are on us, so to speak. The Black Prince is notoriously secretive about his plans. I am on the habit of reading other people's journals, but I'm guessing he expected you to feel differently about it. I'll be here. Ooh, I got part of Azeroth power. Obviously, the Black Prince isn't here. Trust me when I said he's not an easy one to find. If I were you, I'd make my way to Black Rock Mountain. There's a terrace carved into its slopes where Nefarian once made its lair. Rathian has been monitoring that place for a long time, even if he's not there himself. You might find someone who knows where to look. And Shaman, it's clear you're not the only one searching for him. Watch your back. Seek out Rathians outside the entrance to Blackwing's descent. You cross the prince, you cross me. It seems you're not the only one on Rathian's trail, which must be why he's taking so many precautions. Not even we know where he is, but he's been help he's been keeping an eye on Black Rock Mountain. Might be a good place to start. So yeah, we're we're going exactly to the Watch your back. Whoever else is in my doubt, they they want to chat. So the spot I was talking about earlier when we were flying over Black Rock Mountain, that's exactly where we're going. And it's too soon to go back to... Uh, I can just fly to Jade. I can just do that. Oop. So when you arrive, you get attacked. They said you'd get a hostile uh, welcome. And that was Black Empire speech. Oh. Torn scroll of unearthly rituals. What is that? Words blur together, making it difficult to understand the otherworldly incantation. So, over here is a Black Talon Watcher. This other person over here, this agent, is here all the time. And you can go there now, she's still there. This agent, which looks a lot like left, um, Sleepless Interrogator Whisper is too late. She will show up, um, the only time she has anything for you, I think, is it's during the um, island expeditions. There's a black dragon scale that pops up, which is prior to this timeline was. Um, so, but Black Talon Watcher. Yes. Okay, you are way behind me. At the time that you're hearing me say this is when I got your message saying you're flying to the mountain, I can hear you. Oobly boo. That's how far behind me you are. This is when I'm hearing you say it back to me. It's all good. It's all good. 
I don't know what's up with the delay, but it's fine. Um, let's see. My mind, they saw into my mind. They know that the Black Prince expected you to come. I have failed him. You're safe now. Did Rathian leave a message for me? Keep your wits about you. He left these for you. Said to seek him out in Karazhan. Anaria Shola. Black winged shadow. Time is of the essence. My head is still spinning. They showed me such terrible, tempting things. Torn page journal 16. Continue. Hold your head high. Thank you. They forced their way into my mind. I couldn't stop them from finding what they sought. The Black Prince meant for you to have those pages. He was certain that you would need the knowledge within them. We will have justice. I haven't read the pages yet. What happened to them? Alright. I held it as long- Was I supposed to read that and didn't? I held it as long as I could, but the whispers were too strong. You must hurry to Karazhan. The Black Prince said he intended to study the artifacts stored within its catacombs. Please do not allow my failure to bring about his doom. Seek out Rathian outside the Karazhan catacombs. So we're going to Karazhan! Shorel Aran. I failed. They know where to find him. Hurry. I'm sure he'll be okay. They're over here. They're, they're over, they regenerate. They're not there later. I don't think they show up after this quest. Um, and that's the raid Black Wings of Sun. <sighs> Who am I meaning where and how? Oh. It's like, where am I going? To oh, is this time I'm going into the cellar? Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Remember before? when I got locked out on a different character. All right. Slain Black Talon Lookout. The body is still warm to the touch. He has not been dead for long. To the catacombs. Search the body for more journal pages. All right, can I read this now? I'm I'm forgot to read one of the other pages, which is kind of it's okay. It's I know I will see it again. Um, two mysteries intrigue me more than the lost knowledge and technologies left behind by the Titans. The zeal with which I pursued their secrets in the past. This is an interesting one anyway, because this is the Karazhan one. This is this one's interesting. They're all interesting, but this one in particular. The zeal with which I pursued their secrets in the past may have bordered on excess. Uh, eating, eating a heart. But the quest in and of itself is one that must be continued. I know for certain that the Forge of Origination is the key to dealing with the old gods. Dealing the old gods their ultimate defeat. They have not yet been able to discern the exact manner in which it is meant to be used. My hope was that the vault of the Archivon would hold the secrets would hold the answers I seek. Unfortunately, though the vault contained much material for me to study, the giants who make their home were less than cordial to me upon my arrival. Comment on that in a second. I cannot say I blame them, given their previous encounters with visitors from the Alliance and the Horde. This comment right here is referring to Wintergrasp. Now, Wintergrasp is the epic raid in, um, in in uh, Northrend. I love Wintergrasp. I, I still play Wintergrasp. It's a lot of fun. Um, however, in order for your faction to have access to the raid within there, the Vault of the Archons, you had to win the raid. So you had to win the, the PvP battle. Your side had to win. Now, you didn't have to actually fight in it to get access, and you could check in Dalaran if your side had had one or not and then you can get direct access to the vault and then you do the raid so this is a direct reference to the horn the the constant winter grass fights and access to the vaults yeah and and them 
not being welcoming of people breaking into their vaults. Understandable. <laughs> to the circumstances. So it's, it's just a cheeky little nod to that. Um, visitors, visitors from the Alliance and Horde in quotations. And then you'd kill them. And get their stuff. It is strange to think on how those events predate my own hatching. While I plumb the depths of the forgotten lore from Ian's past, others have lived through, the, through crises I will only ever know from historical accounts. There must be someone on Azeroth who possesses the understanding I require, and perhaps my next course of action should be to seek them out. A pity the former aspects are so reluctant to trust me. Even after all my research, their familiarity with the Titan's handiwork surely eclipses my own. But given the troubled history of my dragonflight, of Deathwing, Anixia, Nefarian, and myself, I cannot say I blame them either. To the catacombs. Now, I guess, are we going inside this time? Am I going to get locked in? It has a door now, not a gate. Um, it seems the lookout gave his life in service of the Black Prince. You going to take away my, my notes again? The lookout put up a fierce, the lookout put up a fierce fight before he died. You must have found more. He, you must have found more pages from Rathen Journal on his body. You have found more pages. Oh God, you have found more pages from Rathen's journal on his body. Perhaps the Black Prince himself is not far. We're pretending he's not sitting in the heart. Yeah. Yeah, you're. I'm now reading you telling me how far you realize you're how far behind you are, by the way. It's very frustrating, and I don't know what the problem is. It's not the first time this has happened, but what I learned last time was starting and stopping the stream does not work. On the Trail of the Black Prince. It looks like a fight took place here. Those odds agents must already have entered the catacombs beneath Karazhan. The dead lookout still has a set of keys on him. Perhaps it will unlock the door. With any luck, you can find Rathian before Nizot's agents and gain something that can help Elbenhorn, aka Abyssian. Um, enter the Karaz and Karakums and search for a cure for Ebonhorn. So Now there's a door that has a key as opposed to a gate that wasn't there on my rogue earlier. So Hand and Nazoth, he's got his own agents, just so you can see here. Um, sleepless operative. Sending me to Burning Crusade. Catacombs. I don't think these were in Burning Crusade, but all right, fine. So this looks familiar. <laughs> may, look, may look a little familiar. I do not have to be a rogue during this, at least. I can just OP everything and not have to worry about stealth, thankfully. Uh... And now there are people to kill. I have to kill them all, I'm just down. They don't drop anything of note. Um, what's this? Hold of embroidered cloth on the trail. Let's see. Am I getting that? Um, I am looking for. What am I looking for? I am looking for. Bolt of embroidered cloth. Ways of the old gods investigated. Rathian's journal page investigated. Zakor the compelling slain. So we've got a, probably what I'm assuming is a faceless in here that I have to kill. I'm not worried about it. 
Oh. What is this? Current journal page. Just current journal page. I always forget that I have uh, Pip's trinket on until I see like them show up in green next to me. Some Mirdrasil. Burnt journal page. The ways of the old gods. Alright, can I read that? Or is that just something that got tucked away into my inventory and I can't read it? <laughs> I guess it is. I wanted to read that. Nope. What cloak does she have on? What the hell cloak? Oh, she's still got on her. She had a shroud of co cooperation because she took the shortcut. Or I think I was going. She did, and then she didn't. Um, there's the faceless. I'll get to him in a second. This is the journal page. Rathian's journal page. Okay, I'm gonna read that first because apparently when I turn stuff in, they disappear. It is impossible to set eyes upon Karazan without reflecting on the dark saga of its master. As befitting this his title, the last guardian of Tiras Hall had amassed a vast collection of writings and artifacts that dwarfs even that of the Kirin Tour. The insight I gained from the Taurus Library allowed me to reach a significant milestone. I have concocted a tonic that, when imbibed, will cleanse a minor amount of the old gods' corruption and silence their whispers. Such is merely the first step on the path to defeating them once and for all, but a war and celebration nonetheless. It's kind of a big deal. Though I knew there were valuable lessons to learn in Karazin, I did not anticipate that some of them would emerge from my conversations with Medivh's lingering spirit. Emphasis mine. He recounted his struggles under Sargeras' influence as the Dark Titan twisted his soul from within, and I was left to ponder if similar thoughts plagued Neltharion as he descended into madness himself. But Medivh also spoke of his spirit's return to the mortal realm, and how it guided Azeroth's champions in the fight against the very forces that once corrupted him. That would be Warcraft 3. He said something on which I ruminate even now. I could never change the actions of my past, he told me, but I can forge a new legacy to leave behind. A new legacy. In the end, perhaps that's what I am truly after. A way to make amends for my father's failings, as well as my own. A legacy worthy of the Black Dragonflight's original sacred charge, its defense of Azeroth, the end of the Old Gods. I do hope these pages have proven to be of use to you, Maturi. On my end, the screen froze again. And this is not a part I wanted to freeze on. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like it's working live. It's weird. Um, I will continue and just keep my fingers crossed. I do hope these pages have proven to be of use to you, Matore. I would hate to think my agents wasted their time delivering them to you as instructed. Rest assured that they were, that the time is right you will have my aid in the fight against Nazoth in the true battle for Azeroth. Oh, and one last request. Burn this journal. It's time I actually speak for me. He's just writing in his journal knowing you're going to read it. <laughs> this is a core, a compelling mouth of Nazoth. He's an aberration. And. Hastily scrawled note. Potion of mental clarity. There is a note there. What do you know? The note appears to have been left behind in a hurry and deliberately placed where you would find it. Corn Journal, page number 58. The note reads, Matori, if you are reading this note, then I assume Abyssian has fallen prey to the whispers of the old gods. Fortunately, I prepared a method to save him. You will find a potion with the properties you seek sitting next to this note. Bring it to my brother and it will clear his mind of Nazoth's influence. I will thank you for your efforts in person soon enough. There's our potion. The potion appears to be powerful and chaotic. It changes color, color seemingly at random. This must be the, be the concoction Rathian wrote about in his journal. Just standing near it grants you a sense of peace and clarity. You may not have found the Black Prince himself, but perhaps what he left behind for you can help Ebenhorn. Return to the Chamber of the Heart and treat Ebenhorn with the potion of mental clarity. Champion, we need you back in the chamber at once. Ebenhorn's almost gone. Mother's opened the way gate to get you back here. Hurry. Oh, wait, there's something else here. Burnt journal page. Give me all the burnt journal pages. Actually, it just makes this dust. I don't think there's anything else in here. So we're going back to the chamber. Thank you, Magni. Now we have to pretend we don't see Rathian. You don't see him. He's not there yet. <laughs> Just, it's no, no Rathians to see here. We just go right to Abyssian. We give him, we help him out. We should help him out, right? Look, he's got little poor little tendrils on him. No, no, you don't see Rathian. Ignore him. <laughs> We're giving him this potion. The whispers are silent. Rathion crafted this potion, so you were able to find him. Nope. No, he eluded both Nazoth's minions and our friend. <laughs> But it seems he has found a way to resist the influence of the old gods. Is that you, Calic, over there? Okay. He doesn't want to talk to me. Well, let's talk to Ibisian. I knew you would come. I'm not doing the stay a while and listen just yet. Spirits guide you. My mind is finally my own again. Whatever Rathian brewed into that potion has quieted the whispers. 
but I take it you did not find the Black Prince himself. Nope. No idea where he is at all. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> May the ancestors watch over you. Rathian's journal. The whisper ceased as soon as I drank the potion. Thank you, Vittori. Still, it's gravely concerning that Nizal's influence could reach me even within the Chamber of the Heart. If Rathian has found a way to resist the power of the old gods, then we can use it to reinforce the Chamber's defenses. Perhaps Mother can glean more information from Rathian's journal. Deliver Rathian's incomplete journal to Mother. Um, but let's go. Accessing Greeting Database. Hello. Greetings. Chamber of Heart Facility has been rehabilitated. Now functioning within operational parameters. Rathian's journal. Is there anything described in this journal that can protect the Chamber of the Heart? Mother. She's going to look at, is there anything described in this journal that can protect the Chamber of the Heart? So we're giving her Rathian's journal. Um, you do remember the instructions Rathian left at the end of the journal, right? He asked you to do something? Scanning transcribed data. Complete. Oh, I didn't even see she had the quest on her. I was like... <laughs> Farewell protocol activated. Departure acknowledged. Information from journal pages committed to memory, formulating fortification of schematics with the Chamber of the Heart, all data recorded and cataloged, physical transcription no longer required. Farewell. Mother! Why'd you do that? Data committed to memory. Physical record no longer required. Destruction executed as advised. I suppose Rathian doesn't want to be found, but the knowledge he's accrued could be critical in the fight against Nizoth. Thank you, champion. I'll get to tracking down the Black Prince. Not too many places you can hide when Azeroth's own speaker is looking for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so goofy. <laughs> It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Um, but it was the way that they fixed a, a bug in a way that it was glitching. So I actually don't know how much further I can proceed from here. Do you require experimentation? I think I actually have to continue along the quest line with Magni. Uh, speak to Magni. Her world must be healed. When Azeroth called me to be her speaker, she sensed a time of great darkness drawing near. Through the rise of unspeakable evil, we've clung to a single hope. You, champion, you are Azeroth's hope. Thanks to all you've done, that amulet has become mightier than we ever thought possible. Now, Let's get back to saving this world. Thank you, Abyssian. These stones have tales to tell. Amazing, isn't it? To see the dragonflights united in support of Azeroth. Some of them may even may be battered and bruised, but they're still fighting. Bear their gifts well, champion of Azeroth. Back to work! Stand before the Black Prince. Guard your mind as well. Azeroth oh, faces Behind him points. is the journal, which wasn't here until you you bring this part in. So you do get access to the journal afterwards, the full thing. Um
This is um, the page that I didn't get to see, which is for all the time I spent in Pandaria, only recently did I make acquaintance with the lore walkers. The sheer volume of knowledge to be found within their scrolls was marvelous to behold. Lore walker Cho taught me much about the legends of the Black Empire. He can be, shall we say, long-winded at times. But the wisdom he can impart upon those with the patience to listen is valuable indeed. I mean, right there shows character growth. The Shadow Pan, in contrast, have little time for conversations not directly related to the defense of the Pandaren. Their Omnia scholars have accumulated centuries of practical expertise in combating the dark powers of the Shah without succumbing to their influence. Given that the Shah originated from the essence of Yasharaj, the underlying principles of their techniques would prove effective in, re re in resisting the whispers of the old gods. I must admit I felt a certain kinship with the Shadow Pan that I did not anticipate. The Pandaren do not maintain a standing army, and so the Shadow Pan serve as their sole defense against both the Mantid and the Shah. Though they have trained themselves to seal away their emotions, there is an air of solitude about them that I recognize all too well. It is no easy task to stand alone against the darkness so others may bask in the light, but someone must always make that stand and they can never allow themselves to falter. So, and that's the Titan's one. So that one about Pandaria and yeah, is uh, the page that I lost because I clicked too quickly on a quest. <laughs>